almost every brand has a service boot of some kind, and that can make it nearly impossible to find the best of the best. That's why after reviewing over 100 boots, I'm sharing the best service boots you can get, and I'm breaking it down into different budget tiers so you can get exactly what you want for the right price. The Thursday Captain is the first high quality boot I ever bought, and it sparked my love of Goodyear welted footwear. The Captain features a 360 degree Goodyear welt, has a rubber studded sole, or you can get the Storm King lug outsole like this you see here, and it's available in 15 different leather options. Personally, I like Thursday's full grain pull-up leather, AKA the Thursday chrome leather, though their rugged and resilient line is also extremely popular. The good thing is you don't ever really need to care for that leather. Thursday offers the best value for money at this level, and if you've never invested in a great pair of boots, I think you'll be shocked at the quality you're getting here for the price. Now, if you're used to $100 boots, the Thursday Captain, it's gonna feel like it's in a completely different league because it is. Beckett Simonon is another one of my favorite brands because their leather quality is exceptional. So I do have to admit, I don't actually own the Beckett Simonon Dowler, but I do have the Beckett Simonon Elliott and the Douglas. Because Beckett Simonon builds all their boots using a Blake Stitch construction method and they use the same leather, I'm confident that the Dowler is a fantastic service boot as it's really just the style that's different. The Dowler is also the dressiest service boot I have on my list. So if you're looking for something that's a little more on the dressy side of casual, then this is a good option. Now as a dressier boot, it has just a double row stitching along the cap toe, which is a bit more streamlined than many other brands that have three or four rows of stitching. In. Blake Stitch boots don't typically have as much weather resistance as Goodyear welted boots. So I put the Dowler on the list as more of a style forward boot than a rugged boot. Like Thursday and Beckett Simonon, I think Grant Stone offers some of the best value for money boots in the world. At this price level, there's another big leap in quality. One thing I really love about Grant Stone is that they use the best materials inside and out. So even through the insole and midsole, parts you never even see or even notice, Grant Stone is impeccable with their build quality. The Grant Stone Diesel is my favorite service boot under $400, which is tough because there are a lot of amazing service boots in this range. But the diesel basically epitomizes everything I think a great service boot should be. High quality, durable, stylish, requires a very little amount of care, and comfortable. The $300 to $400 service boot category is a tough one, and I couldn't just leave all the winnings to the Grant Stone. The Red Wing Iron Ranger also deserves a spot on this list too, because it's a truly fantastic boot. It's much bulkier than the other boots I have on this list, besides the Nix Americana, spoiler alert, and it has a bump toe shape that makes it ideal for guys with wider feet at the toes. Red Wing uses a leather insole with a cork filler and a custom hardened rubber sole that's very durable. It's an iconic boot that can easily last a decade or longer. Truman is a lesser known brand, unless you're in all the boot enthusiast forums. In that case, you already know they're the darlings of the boot world. Truman is really a leather focused boot brand. They build on a few different lasts or shapes. And my favorite is the 79 last that you see right here. It's a great balance between the sturdier, bulkier look, yet still is somewhat narrow in the toe, so it looks more fashionable. I have my 79 last Truman boots in their Java waxed flesh leather, which is a pretty rare Horween offering. And it's an absolute rugged stunner. It's waxy rough out, so it never needs any care. And it's super weather resistant too. So there are boots and then there are Nyx boots. This brand got their start as a woodland fire fighting boot maker, and they're one of the legendary Pacific Northwest brands up there with Whites and Wesco. The NYX Americana is actually a pretty tame pair from NYX, but it's the bulkiest, sturdiest boot on this list by a fair margin. The Americana is fully customizable with dozens of leather, sole, and accessory options. Honestly, I'm still breaking in my Americanas, and I've had them for almost a year, but dang, they're good. Now, at the very tippy top of the service boot spectrum, you'll find the Viberg service boot. To be honest, the Viberg service boot isn't necessarily better than NYX or even Truman, it's all about the leather selection and the style. Viberg's service boots are made with stitch down construction like NYX, and they're incredibly well made. I like that Viberg does quarterly releases with interesting leathers that are only available for a limited time. There are also four different last Viber makes for their service boots, the 2030, the 2040, 1035 and the 310. I have the 2030, which has a lifted and squared toe. It's basically a, a little more stylistically adventurous, but you can also get the standard cap toe look with the 1035 or the 310. True to their origins, I think the best service boots are simple, durable, and rugged. To me, it helps a lot when they look good also. For the best budget service boot, get the Thursday Captain. It's a fantastic boot for the price, and it's got some ruggedness. It's stylish, and it's comfortable. The best bang for your buck is the Grant Stone Diesel. This boot starts to hit the top end of construction and quality for the lowest price. I'd say Truman is right behind them, but their leathers tend to be a bit pricier because they're more rare. The NYX Americana is the sturdiest boot on the list by far. It's a wildly durable service boot that'll last 10 years, no problem. It's just taken me a full year to break them in. And of course, there's the Viberg, the baller pick if you want all the construction features of something super high-end like NYX, but also want the fine leathers normally reserved for dressier styles. To see how I rank my entire boot collection from worst to best, watch this video now. I'll see you there, and until next time, put your best boot forward.